team. Um, you guys may have seen their YouTube video called Rape Poem to End All Rape Poems. It's extremely powerful. And, um, they're a group of five students who auditioned and competed for each spot on the team. This year they traveled all the way to Boulder, Colorado and to compete in an annual national college poetry slam. Uh, this is only the third year of Rutgers uh, has had a slam team, but they've been super successful and had this um, YouTube video called Great Poem to End All Great Poems, and I, I encourage you to check it out. Um, <laughs> Straight and the members fire. performing today include Michael Anderson, Kate Thomas, Lily Hannon, and Justin, Justice Care. Excuse me. Let's give them a warm welcome! Woo! Woo! Okay. Well, we got that woman's face. Dear granddaughter, I want to apologize. You will be born into a perfect storm. You won't be able to fathom the way we were. You made us for our ways the way we let possibility slip through our fingers when possibility was still an option. If you're anything like me, you'll be bitter. You have every right to be. But granddaughter, please, don't hate us. Ours was a time of replaceability. You can always buy a new one. I need the iPhone 14. I already have one. Ours is a time of screens and silence where scrolling, 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 scrolling. past the internet. Dear granddaughter, we were scared. I want to tell you we didn't know any better. But we did know better. We, we do, do know, know better. better. We saw the aftermath of Sandy, Coney Island's Ferris Bill floating like an inner tube in an unnatural sea. Artificial sand dunes replacing one swept under waves. The flooding of New York City turned subways into yeah. submarines. New Jersey's coastline tooted itself like a mangy dog. And we looked away rather than realize this, this earth, earth is, is not disposable. disposable. Not yeah. a napkin to wipe our sloppy lips. Or a doormat to wipe our dirty feet. This Thank you. This planet was not meant to carry the weight get you of on Shane's phone. coffee cups. Perhaps. Our second tries are our mistakes. mistakes. And we can't always filter out secondhand smoke. We can't ignore our waste. Dear, Dear granddaughter. granddaughter when Sandy hit, Mother Nature was trying to tell us something. She tore down power cords, kicked down trees, like her fingers knocking against our window panes. As if seeking entrance to our consciousness. She waved the wind like her palm across our faces but to make us see. But we were blacked out. Mother called. And called. And called. And, and we, we never picked up. Our excuse? The, the phone lines, lines were down. Sandy. Yeah, Named after I'll Cassandra, I'll Princess of Troy. Yeah, who held the power of prophecy and the curse of never being believed. She foresaw the destruction of Troy, but was perceived as insane. Just like environmentalists are seen as fear mongers. Next fall on deaf ears, collecting waste baskets. Accumulate in intellectual landfills. My charts taste sweeter when they carry good news. And damn it, we love our high fructose corn syrup in this country. We eat up lies like government subsidized candy. We can't get enough. We're hooked on a faux optimism. And we carry it home with us in plastic bags. Dear granddaughter, we stole your world, your necessities. We swallowed down as extras. There were bombings and shootings until we ate and drank and took and forgot. Because no one knew what tomorrow would look like if it would come at all. Dear granddaughter, we were a scared people. We were a generation of dreamers planted on a time bomb. Dear granddaughter, if I could trade places with you, I would. I'd take your help so you could have mine. Dear granddaughter, no matter what happens, you have this poem, you have my word, that I wanted something better 